So boys, 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 welcome back. So once again, Prelzy, like the previous episode, today is going to be absolutely massive. We play Leipzig in the league, which is always going to be a hard game. But then we also have our second game against PSG. Prelzy, the 4-1 defeat was a wee bit of a kick in the balls. But we kind of, we put ourselves in the grave, so to speak. Like we did all the damage. Prelzy, PSG put the goals in the back of the net. But like we played really, really bad. And honestly, we deserve the result. But all we can do is just pick up from that and try and play a little better. On the plus side, we do have a few people back. Like I said, Diamande is now fully fit. Wasn't fit against PSG. I should have played him. <sighs> the whole team played bad, so I can't just blame Diamande. Baku is also back as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So, at one transfer, I'll jump over. I'll show you that. Obviously, there's no results or anything because we're just going straight from the PSG game straight to the Leipzig game. There's only been a couple of days in between. So because Darvuch has been playing quite a lot of football for us, I actually went to his agent and I just asked how happy we'd be to like move full time as a transfer. And he was like, he's incredibly interested. Because of our loan agreement, he has a 28 million clause where if we can buy him and he's happy to go. So we can get Darvuch now for 28 million, which I think I'm 100% going to do. Because like, yes, has he played amazing yet? No. Is he fucking 18 years old? Yes, which is fantastic. Like, look at all those arrows going up. And he's only just going to keep getting better and better and better. So I would rather get him now while he's at 18 or 28 million instead of trying to buy him down the line where he's like fucking 60, 70, 80, 90 million and beyond. So I'm going to start some negotiations. He's happy to be as a squad player, which is absolutely fantastic. Right, if I'm going to take the 15% out. I'm also going to put that clause. Look, you know we try and always get about 80 million. I'm going to give him... I think 30k. I think 30k is reasonable for a player who's going to play as a squad player or also be in the first team quite a lot. I think this is happy. If he's happy with the 80 million clause, I honestly, do I, do I take the clause out? I usually like to renegotiate the clauses out. Do I give him 35 and just take the fucking release clause out? Let's go like 32. He wants 38. What about 36? I'm happy with that. Look, I would rather just get rid of the clause. Because, like, yes, down the line, 80 million. Fantastic money. But what if one point he becomes a very, very integral part of our team? Him and Hassan in the middle of the park. I don't want to lose him because Real Madrid come knocking. And, like, they just go, oh, there's 80 million. We'll take him. So, perhaps the transfer of Darvuch is going to be absolutely massive, which, like I said, for 20 million. He is currently annoyed that he's not he's playing in a weaker role. But once we sign him, obviously that won't really make a difference because he's going to be our player. But like I said, 18 years old, 28 million is an absolute fucking fantastic deal for us. He's going to fit in. It means we know we've guaranteed this is going to be our midfield for a long time. And I'm super, super happy about it. But like I said, big things is having Rodell Bakri back. I think this is going to be a big miss. 27 games, 6 goals, 17 assists is absolutely huge. So having our... F we have busy a full team out and we've got no excuses. <laughs> I seen that people were complaining in the... Perhaps he was in the media in-game. They were like, oh, Gao Karras needs to be dropped. I think it's... What is it, by Sweden? Yeah, by Sweden. And I was like, are you fucking insane? In his first season, he's 33 games, 22 goals, 6 assists, and a 7.33 season, and you want to drop him? I was like, are you mad? But the only thing that kind of worries me a little bit is this. Look at our goals. There's a decent amount like spread about, but then you get the sort of like our hast here is 8, and then you've got 22-22. I would like to see Khan start to score through more goals. Probably this is going to be a progressive thing over time. I don't expect him to do it right now, but I would like sort of these people to get a decent amount of goals. Perhaps these two is going to be more assists because they're running the line, crossing the ball in, shooting, like passing and stuff. So I don't expect them to have 20 goals a season. Know what I mean? But I would like at least this three to spread the goals between them and then these two to pitch in a little bit more. Because if you look at Brandt and Quadrago, they've got five and five. Which no I mean is not a huge amount of goals. I would like a little bit more. And like I said, Brandt has got five goals, nine assists. So like I said, I would like to see these two score a little more. Maybe I switch one of these to like a center midfield on attack. I don't I don't really think we need to. I think we've got a good balance and I don't want to mess with the team too much. The only position I'm kind of tossing around where or not the change is going to be Gao Karras. Do I keep him as a pressing forward and keep Makoko as the advance forward? Or do I put him as like a target forward? Like I said, if you put him as a target forward and then go into him and have a look on the right-hand side here, you just basically scroll down. Where is he? Target forward on attack. 
and this shows you everything that you need. So Prebs, he finishing first touch, heading. He's not fantastic, but he can do a job. But I don't know if I really want to waste a player like Gao Karras just having him as a target forward. I may maybe change him to an advanced forward and that would be about it. But I think just for the meantime, look, I'm thinking too much into it. I think our team's doing really well. After we get absolutely tore about or apart by PSG, I was just like, uh, do I need like another formation to like maybe stop that from happening a little bit? But I think all in all, look, we got beat and like I said, we were the downfall of ourselves. Like it was it was our own fault because we just played shit. We just didn't pass the ball around like we usually do. But all in all, boys, like I said, there's no results or anything, and the only transfer is probably gonna be Darvich coming in but apart from that like i said we do have leipzig and then we have psg two absolutely massive games up if i had to pick one i would love to win the psg game but you know what i mean uh that's gonna be a rough one because we're four one down hold on asan why is Riddell baku remain some way off for being fully fit you told me at the start of this fucking match that he was fit. Right, we'll keep a wee eye on Riddell. I'm going to put Darvuch in instead of Asan, because if Asan's not fully fit, I'm not going to push him too much. Baku, I can just bring Felix on at halftime, and we'll just kind of see where we go from there, how we're playing. But like I said, Leipzig do have a good team, so this is going to be a hard match. But I think we should be able to get the three points, boys. Look, <laughs> I don't want to have to go two recordings where we lose. I don't want to lose four in a row. And like, yes, I know you get your little blip in the season when you play big teams, but ah, this is a game that I do, I do want to try and get in the bag. And I think we we need a little bounce back. I've also got myself a wee cup of tea. So, you know, I mean, things things are always better when you've got a wee cup of... Hold on. Ah. One thing I'm happy with is from most corners... Okay, Danny Almo, do you want to stop that? Most corners, we don't concede a ton. I'm going to wait till after this. We're, we're good in the air. Like, that's the one thing I do like. The, obviously, we don't concede an absolute shit ton from corners. Like, we usually clear the ball pretty well, which is one thing we're fantastic at. Now, I've said that. They're going to score, like, 40 corners. Okay, if they, if they put 40 goals past us, I think I'll probably turn this fucking channel into, like, a Minecraft channel. Clearly, I should not be playing Football Manager if I lose four. I wonder, what is the most somebody has lost in Football Manager? There's bound to be somebody that's lost in, by an absolute crazy amount, like fucking 18 nil or something. I'm going to actually Google it at some point and just see what the highest amount of, like, what the biggest some lost in FM. Because then it's going to make me feel better about losing some matches. No, I mean, I've got this really bad smudge on my lens. Anybody who wears glasses understands. Look, you have a dog, they tend to lick your glasses a lot or stick their wee wet nose all over your lens. And then you get these little smudges. I'm 100% blaming on the dog. It was probably me with my finger, no me. Come on, Baku. Like, boys, we need to get we need to get rock and roll in here. This is what we need. We need a wee goal or nice and early. I would like a goal as fast as Killian and Mbappe scored past us, but no mean beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> it's also going to be interesting. A scene of me recording this, PSG had beat Marseille. I don't know when in the match was actually played. I'll have to check. When was the match actually played? It was... When was that video even live? I was watching the highlights of the match. It was a day ago. And like the P uh, Mbappe got brought off and the PSG fans were booing him. Granted, that's probably down to him leaving. But let's be honest, Mbappe's been talking about leaving PSG for probably like two seasons. Yes, him leaving on a free, it is what it is. But like Real Madrid are like, here, we can get him for absolutely nothing if we just wait. Real Madrid's team's gonna be disgusting. Like, if he ends up... As far as I know, is it confirmed that he's going to Real Madrid? Don't, is it actually confirmed yet? Or was it all just, like, talk? If he does go to Real Madrid, like, their forward line, Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, they also have... I thought that was in. They also have... um, so Vinicius Jr., Mbappe, Rodrigo, they have Jude Bellingham, I mean, they have Camavinga, they have Touche Mane. Like, their team is disgusting and like if Mbappe goes they're gonna get him on a free a free transfer which is insane like they paid a little money for Jude Bellingham probably Tushi and Manny cost them a pretty penny they have Arda Guller who's meant to be absolutely fantastic still very very young they also have Endrick who's gonna be insane that's a good point like Mbappe's still young he's about like 25 Vinicius Junior's probably in around the same age 24 25 in the rounder where the fuck are they gonna play all these ins? Because they have Endrick, who probably he has scored a couple of goals for Brazil now, and I mean, he's going to be wanting to, like, here, throw me in a little bit, but Ancelotti's kind of smart that way. He doesn't really play players unless they need to be played. But, like, 
they're going to have Mbappe, Endrick, Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr., and like whoever the fuck else. I'm sure they probably have like 10 other players that I don't know of. Like they're, they've so many attacking options. Vinicius and like Mbappe up top is going to be disgusting. They may have to change their formation and just play. But Mbappe likes playing from that right hand side. And so does Vinicius Jr. So like who's going to be the one that plays up top? Or do they just change the like how we're playing? Thought that was in. And just play like two up top and play like Jude in behind. Because let's be honest, Jude is a 10 is fucking fantastic. So like Jude in behind Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. That's like football manager stuff right there. That's like a team that you get when you're playing football manager. So we're at halftime. We're doing pretty well. Like I said, I know Riddell Baku is not fully fit. So I'm actually going to bring him off and just give him a wee break. Look, I don't want to push him too hard. And then we end up getting him hurt or something. Also, Makoku is also ha- Makoku has not been playing well the last couple of games. I'm actually going to, after this game, I'm actually going to criticize his recent performances. Like, because that's four games on the bounce where he has not played well. Like, no goals, no assists of 6.5. No goals, no six a 6.4. No goals, no assists a 6.7. No goals, no assists a 6.4. And, like, I get the PSG and the Baron game are hard games, but, like, Wolfsburg. I mean, we won against Freiburg. Here. Newcastle, no goals, no assists, no goals, no assists, no goals, no assists, no goals, one assist. I'm, I think because of the four games in a row, and if he ends up having a bad game this game, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just going to go up and I'm just going to like talk to him and say to him, look, I need you to improve your performances. And we'll just see how he gets on. I think because he's got a good personality, I think he'll take it pretty well. And like I said, he has been playing bad, so it's not as if I'm criticizing something that like he's not doing. He's not playing great the last like four or five games. So I'm going to tell him. So because of that, I'm actually going to bring him off. Like I said, I just, I don't think he's going to have a good performance. And I'm busy. I just brought Yadiz on and I put Ka- um, Khan Uzan. His name fucks me up so much. I'm just going to call him Khan. I just put Khan up top and I put Yadiz in behind and just kind of see how we get on. Yeah, they're young and inexperienced, but like they're not going to get any experience if we don't fucking put them on. How do we not score that? We need to get another goal. This is going to be one of them matches where, like, we need to get another goal. Like, we need to stick the ball in the back of the net again here. Are we about to get a penalty? I've seen the header, and then it went wide, and I was like, okay, that's not too bad. Is it actually a penalty? Right, I'm not going to lie. Who's hitting it? Who's 20? Oh, my God, Khan's hitting it. The young man just has fucking ice running through his veins doesn't he i'm not gonna lie because guy Karras has hit like the last like three or four penalties and he's missed every single one and i'm like oh god this is one like we needed a goal so putting him up top like i said makoku i'm gonna go in i'm gonna criticize his form because he he has been playing shit i'm not gonna tell him he's playing shit when he's been playing fantastic he just i know everybody has a wee slump but i need him to get the fuck out of it because we've got psg next so it ended up 2-0 this this is the type of result that i want like i said this is this is what we need. Right, I'm gonna praise the boys. Well done. It's a fantastic result. Like I said, I'll go in, I'll show you the league table. I didn't show you the league table in the last one. As you can see, look, I'll, sh- I'll show you a more extensive version of it. And I know Makoku is still like his top goal scorer, but he hasn't scored in five games now. And like I said, I'm, I'm not worried. I just look, every player gets a wee dip in form. It is what it is. We played 25, 122, drew two. Lost one. The only team I've lost two in the league is Baron. 68 goal difference with 68 points. No, I mean, we're absolutely flying. Like, we're doing really, really well. Baron probably still have the game in hand. But we're enough points ahead that we don't massively need to worry about. Because if you go in, look at the schedule. Like, we have Bear, but that's in the cup. Nobody that we have, like, with Union Berlin, Hoffenheim, HSV, Köln, Schalke, Mönchengladbach, Stuttgart, Mainz, and uh, Werder Bremen. Look, they're all games I would expect us to either draw or win. Draw or win. I don't, I, sh- I don't expect us to lose any of those games. Fucking touch wood. But that's the type of performances I need. And they just need us to get the points in. And I think we're far enough ahead now that we don't really we need to worry about it. Right. Discuss. Warren player. Criticize recent form. I'm going to put my arm around him. Um, put your arm around. Don't worry about your goal, Dredge. Right? You've been playing well. Keep yourself in the right. Uh, I don't think you've played well. As in the recent matches, keep working hard to improve. I can't argue with that. And a certain amount to improve. I'm glad you understand. Keep working hard to improve. Uh, I've given it some thought. And I think setting a target for you would give you... I don't want to set a target. I, I just want him to know that I'm, I'm just not happy with his performances. I don't want to set him a target. Like, I need you to get five goals in the next game. 
<laughs> Do you know why I've never set a target? I wonder what the target... I should have saved before this and just seen what it was like. I has anybody ever set a target? Like, do you set them, like, so many goals and so many games or anything? Is that, like, how it goes? Or if they keep, like, an average rating of, like, something? Somebody leave in the comments down below and let me know if you've done this. What actually happens? So, perhaps in between the games, we also got our youth intake, which, look, boys, it says it was a good youth intake. I'm seeing, look, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some nice, like, four and five stars. So we've, we've got a few, we've got at least four players that look like they could be reasonably decent. One of them, there seems to be a lot of like Welsh, Northern Irish and like Scottish players that are really, really good. I'm from Northern Ireland, that's my nationality. So having players in the team that are from where I'm from is really, really good. We've got one German, we've got Northern Irish, somebody from, Lu hold on, a Luxembourger. I'm guessing they're from Luxembourg. And that's what you call it, Australian and one German. We'll start with the German. He's not bad. Like, I'm not going to lie, he is not bad. He's got a fantastic personality, which is a really, really good start. He's consistent. 19 determination, 14 decisions, 13 composure. Dribbling's pretty decent. Technique's really good. His teamwork and vision are solid. He's six foot, can play with both feet. What is this one? I've never seen that. Lack of balance. He's only 15 years old, not going to worry about it too much. So I'm going to sign him. Definitely want to keep him in the team. Look, you're not getting that. And you'll get two grand and be quiet about it. No, you'll get two grand, I said, and be quiet about it. Thank you. <laughs> Two grand's even being nice. I mean, he's fucking 15 years. Imagine getting, imagine being 15 years old and earning two grand a week to do something that you love. This guy, not so great. He also has terrible composure. He's inconsistent. But like I said, he's only 16 years old, so we're going to sign him, bring him through, and just kind of see how he develops over time. Like, he only wants 750. We'll give him 775. I wonder, does the money, so their wages, right? This guy wanted two grand. So was this guy going to be significantly better? Or does he just have a better agent than this guy? Or is it because this guy is just not going to be as good? He already has some very, very good starting stats. Attacking midfield on the right-hand side, I don't know because he's very, very slow. He would probably be one that would play like in behind. But we also have somebody who's only 18 years old playing there right now. So uh, he's going to have to work hard to push him out. Right, This guy is a defender on the left-hand side. He's a little slow. <laughs> What is this one I've never seen? Has a competitive streak that can often... Lay. I don't mind if people kick the shit out of people a little bit. As long as he's not getting sent off all the time. Look, he's got good balance, good natural fitness. He's a little short. Can play fantastic at both feet. That flag, I kind of like that flag. It looks a wee bit like the Welsh flag as well. Good tackling, good technique. Flair's good. Decision making's good. Anticipation's pretty decent for a 15-year-old. Once again, definitely going to sign him and just kind of bring him through and just see after a couple of years what he's going to be like. Five grand? He wants fucking five grand? Jesus Christ, maybe I need an agent to do all this for me? Then the final guy is an attacking midfielder, which is Colin Quigley. He's okay. Like, Ravzy, I would say the other guy has some better stats, but he has some decent ones as well. Good technique, good pass, and first touch is fantastic. Work rate is good. Flair is good. Determination decision making are pretty decent. Bravery is good. A fucking 14. You gotta remember, this guy's only 15 years old. I never really, does anybody else get this? In your youth intakes, I don't know if it's just me and my bad luck. I never seem to get players that are really fast. I always seem to get players like this, who are just apparently 90 years old and have like no speed or physical stats. Has anybody ever got someone who's an absolute fucking flam machine? I'm talking like 14, 15, 16 acceleration and pace. Has anybody ever got anybody that quick? Because I don't think I've ever came across that. He's going to want big money, isn't he? Should I talk to... You can't even talk to... He doesn't... He probably doesn't even have an agent at this point then. Four grand. Right. We'll give him that to give him 4.2. I suppose for a team like us, I wonder if that's how much people get paid in the youth team. Is that amount of money? I still want to look at some of these players. A goalkeeper. He's not great, but he's German. And I want to keep people in the youth team that are German. So I'm probably going to sign a lot of like the German kids that are in here. Because I'm guessing a lot of them probably aren't great. This guy's Australian. He's not the best. I'm not going to lie. Um, he's absolutely fucking terrible. Like I said, I just want to keep the youth team going. Right, we've got this guy, Ennis Aglis, or Gangloss, or whatever his name is. Once again, just want to keep the youth system going. We have a bunch of, like, German people. I'd say, look, we signed three Germans. I'd I think we're, we're kind of okay. So, like I said, we do now have PSG. <sighs> I'm hoping things will go a little better. So, perhaps for the game against PSG, like I said, we, we do have pretty much everybody back. Baku, 
not massively fully fit, but like, look, we, we're going to need our best players here today. I've got Asan and Darvuj back in the middle of the field. This one may interchange a little bit. I may bring Julian Brandt on at some point. I'm debating why not I should start Brandt. Because we do need a wee bit of experience in the middle of the park. These two are very, very young, but they're both big and physical. And I like that, the fact that they can get a foot in. So I think I'm just going to stick with this and we're just going to go to see how we get on, boys. And boys, off we go. Look, like I said, bringing back a 4-1 deficit is going to be very, very difficult. But if we could get a goal right now, that would help. <laughs> this, like, if we would have scored in the first 17 seconds, that would have been fantastic. I think Mbappe beat us. His 12, wasn't it? Or was it 20? We, all we need to do is just give a good performance. Like I said, the first game, we just we got completely FM'd. Like, we really, really did. We were just terrible. Our passing was absolutely off. If, if we were to not beat PSG today, look, we went out against one of the biggest teams in the game, but I, I think we can give a good enough performance. Honestly, I think, I think we can give them a game. But the only problem is we would need to beat them 4-0. That's the thing. Like, we need to stop them scoring and we need to score. We we've usually have no problem scoring goals. It's just trying to stop them from scoring is going to be the big thing because, like, Prelzy, to have this absolute tool in their team who just runs. I think he was offside when he touched that, though. But just watch their arms if they cheer when they're walking away nah it doesn't count it doesn't count they're not cheering i thought he was offside right what i was saying is like i said we just we need to stop them from scoring but when they've got mbappe it makes it very very difficult like it really does their whole team i was hoping we wouldn't have got someone this big in the fucking round of 16 i would have liked to maybe get someone a little smaller like i said ajax is still in there lazio still in there newcastle still in there who else was there uh, Bruce mentioned glad back. Know what I mean? Like they would have been good teams to get in the round of sixteen. I'm just I'm upset because I don't want to go out, but I have to understand that our team is very very new and very very young. It's gonna take a little bit of time for us to sort of just get get our foot in and just sort of just try and build this team up a little bit. And like I said previously, a lot of you have to remember a lot of our team has they don't have a lot of experience. They really don't. Like we like we looked at previously, like fucking who's can or can has what two games under his belt before he came to us. Darvic playing on like the under 19s. Asan playing on the under 19s. Like a lot of our players don't have a lot, especially like I'm throwing them in to Champions League football against one of the best teams in the world. <laughs> and they're like 18 years old and we're doing well. Like we're, we, the first game, like I said, we did get FM'd, but like a lot of it was kind of our own fault with just playing really badly. Like not being able to pass the ball, really, really short passes to each other. And like our team, we don't usually have a lot. We we tend to like press and chase the ball quite a lot. Like we usually don't have a ton of possession. Like we spend more time without the ball, which I may have to look into. I want us to be able to have a wee bit more time in the ball and be a wee bit more patient. But I think because we play so fast, because like our intensity so high, that's why we don't have as much possession. Where if we slowed the intensity down, we would slow our play down and just like pass the ball around a wee bit more. But I like playing fast and loose sometimes. Like the first PSG game, you're going to get your fucking ass whooped sometimes. And then sometimes you're going to give an ass whooping because like Man United, we did really, really well. Barcelona, we played really, really well last year. And like, it's just unfortunate. Like I said, we got PSG. I was hoping round of 16, get someone a little smaller so we could... One go, Karis. Oh, come on. Don't play it the whole way back. They've got like everybody back now. But like I said, I, I don't mind if we do this because like we're being patient with the ball. And we're just kind of holding possession until we do that. The only thing is, Garo Karras isn't going to win you those headers, which is unfortunate. But like I said, we're doing well. We're getting the ball down. We're pinging the ball around. I would like us to a wee bit more possession, but I'm pretty happy with the performance in the first half. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Asan off and I'm going to bring Julian Brandt on. I'll talk about this. I just I want a, like a wee bit more experience in the middle of the park. And I think Julian Brandt is a good choice for this. And like I said, he played well in the Leipzig game alongside Darvuch. So I kind of just I want to keep that going. There hasn't really been a lot of chances. There hasn't been a ton of replays in this match, to be honest. I'm hoping, like I said, if we can get them. I want to get a goal. I would have liked at least to beat them once. I would have liked at least to beat them when we're at home. I'm sad. The worst part is I'm sad because I've seen it coming. I literally seen it coming. As soon as the ball went out wide there, as soon as that went out there, and then he just pulled it back, I was like, ah, shit. Because, like, I've just seen Brandt should have followed him in. And that's the only thing, like, I don't understand why they don't just 
Like, just follow your man. Like, even I, I seen it coming. Like, look at that. Nobody there. And then I think, yeah, Anashu does try to run out, but he runs into fucking Diamante. And then he's got Nets. He's just looking the other direction. Apparently, like, he's talking to someone in the stand. I don't know what's going on these four games. Like, any other... Like, you've seen the goals that we fucking scored. Like, we usually never have a problem sticking the ball in the back. Like, that... Before, I would have just looked away because I knew Gao Karras would have stuck that in. He's got 17 finishing. That looked like he had about three finishing, and then they're going to go on the counter and score. I was honestly, like, joking aside, I was waiting for them to score there. <sighs> this sucks, bro. I just... I don't think this is how we play. Like, you've seen this in previous games. Like, we just... I don't think this is how we play. We're way better than this. I also brought, I put Ouzkan back up. Makogu's on a 6.3. Apparently my talking did fuck all to him. He's a 6.3. So I brought him off. I put, I put Khan up top and then brought Yadiz on. I also brought Baku off because he, like I said, he's not fully fit. So I want to give him a wee bit of a rest. I'm not going to lie. It's the 73rd minute and we're just, I'm going to bring Volkrug on. I'm going to change this from a press and forward to... <sighs> Do you go a complete forward? I think he'd be good as a target forward. Actually, no, I'm just going to keep it because he does well as a pressing forward. I'm not, I don't want to fuck around with it too much and just bring him on. Like, if we I want to get a goal, at least. I'm very, very upset right now. Like, I just, I, I feel like the first game just absolutely fucking killed any any chance of us going through. And, like, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game now. And I just, I know I shouldn't be upset, but just know, look, I'm competitive. I don't expect to win every game, but I just... All I want is a fucking performance. And like, if you look at this, Okoku is 6.3, a 6.5, 6.4, 6, 6, 6. We just, we played fucking terrible. Like, absolutely terrible. That's the worst part about it because like, we are better than this. I, I, the first game killed it. Like, losing 1 0 to PSG, like anybody, most team, most people will be kind of happy with that. But the 4 1, that just killed everything. This is what I mean about the Makoku thing. Like I said, it just, it's just, it's one of those, he's having like a mid-season, like slumpy type thing. It's this use of Makoku was a, a fucking dissolute figure in the Barcelona game against PSG, yet again, feeling to find the net. The striker has, has now played 12 games without scoring and looks badly short of confidence. I didn't think it was 12 games. I didn't think it was that many. I thought he had played bad in like five. <sighs> this is one I maybe might keep him out of for a couple of games and just like, Put somebody else and I might put Cannon and just sort of give him a couple of games, a wee break, bring him back. I think Makoku, look, I'm not, he's young. He's only 20 years old. I don't expect him to just be fucking two, three goals every game. He's going to have wee slumps. Sometimes he's going to play amazing. Sometimes he's not. It is what it is. But I didn't think it was 12 games. I honestly didn't think it was that bad. But it is something we are going to need to address. Like I said, probably, look... Everybody, everybody has wee games where like slumps in the season where they stop scoring and stuff. And he has had a couple of wee niggles a couple of times. He hasn't been fit, so like that does probably play a huge part. Even if we take half of that out, that scoring in like six or seven games when you're like meant to be our goal, our goal scoring threat, could be a wee bit of a problem. Also, the Gao Karras thing, I may change him from a pressing forward to an advanced forward. I just I feel like I'm maybe wasting a player that's like super super talented. But we'll kind of look into it a wee bit. I also, I'm going to basically make another version of this and change the front three, like, around and just have a wee, like, basically just for games when we're just not, we're not penetrating, where we could be playing down the wings and stuff, I'll probably put, like, an advanced forward or an inside forward or something like that, or an inverted winger, just something, um, maybe have two inverted wingers. But, boys, it is unfortunate, like I said, that is us out of the Champions League this year. But, like I said, we're still fighting for the title. We're still in the cup. So, all in all, like, things are going pretty well. And, like I said, look would have liked as they get further yes but like we have to remember once we get out of the group stage even our first group stage last year we had what man city and fucking lazio and we got out a lot we won the group and then we got man united in the round of 16 who like they still have a very very fucking good team then we get past that we get barcelona which is quarterfinals i expect to play really really good teams there's only fucking eight teams left you know what i mean so i expect that get out of the group stage this year and the round of 16 and get fucking psg straight away is a wee bit of a kick in the balls. I would have liked someone a little easier, but it shows me that like we still need a wee bit of room for improvement and like our players need time to grow because they're still very, very young. And like we're smashing the league and we're doing well in the cup. So we still have that to play for. But boys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe.
only if you fucking want to. And YouTube, have yourselves a fantastic day.